Hi everyone, this is a quick little video to show you how to save your iSpring Pro source files so that you can edit them later or someone else can edit them for you. To output an iSpring for others just to view, typically you go up to the Publish button. And you'll see this window appear. However, if you want to edit, publishing won't help. To save an iSpring so that people could edit either the audio or the video, change some slides around, what have you, you want to click on Export. When you click on Export, you're going to see this window come up and it'll say copy project files to a new folder with a name and location you specify. So, give it a name that's going to make sense to you. Choose the folder that you want to save it to. Select folder and click export. What you'll see in the folder is you'll see a folder with the name of the project that you created and then you'll see a folder and a PowerPoint with the name of the PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint I just called new and this file is a PowerPoint file. This is the file where all the iSpring files are saved. This had audio so there's audio in WAV files. It's both of these, the PowerPoint and the data files in the new folder that you want to save so that either you or someone else can edit them. So now we're looking at our folder and we've got these two files in it. If we go up a level, it's all saved in the flipping and blending folder. This is the folder that you'll want to send to someone or that you're going to want to transfer to your own USB if you're taking away to edit it on another computer. When you double click, if you open the PowerPoint and then click on the iSpring tab, it's automatically going to call up the information from iSpring. So what I did, sorry I went a bit fast there, what I did was just click on Manage Narration to see if my audio files were there. And there they are. And if I play them, hello, this is some audio. I can hear my audio files. So remember, if you want to publish an iSpring, you click on Publish, and you're going to see the Publish window. However, if you want to export your iSpring so that you can edit it later on, you click on the export window and you'll see this window come up that says copy project files. To learn more about using iSpring Pro 7, visit the iSpring Solutions website at iSpringSolutions.com. Click on support, click on video tutorials, and select the product, in this case click on Pro, and you'll arrive at a page that's filled with 31 really excellent tutorials to help you get started and do some intermediate and advanced functions in iSpring Pro 7.